Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everybody, it's the Fobra here. One thing that my CBR 600 F4 lacks, along with many other motorcycles, is a clock. When I first bought my bike, I picked up a really cheap dollar store clock that I mounted to the upper triple using zip ties. I never really cared for that whole wristwatch wrapped around look that I saw some people doing. So even though I'd like to say that when I'm riding, I don't care what time it is, the truth is, I do. Uh, the majority of time on my bike, I'm either commuting to work or just riding with buddies, but I do need to know whether I'm on time or late for wherever it is I have to be. Recently, I was thinking about changing my F4's gauge cluster to the digital gauge cluster of an F4i, and one of the benefits of this swap was that it did include a digital clock inside of that cluster. Unfortunately, Honda did not do this on the CBRF models prior to the F4i. On my last vlog, I mentioned that my cheap clock finally broke, since it was never really designed to be durable enough for a motorcycle. To be honest, I never really loved the look of that clock, but it did do the job. Or at least it did it for a while. So after the uh, death of my dollar store clock, I have to admit I went to a few other stores looking for another cheap clock. You know, little stick-ons and the like, but none of them were really designed for a motorcycle. Then I came across a company called Clocks for Bikes. Uh, a buddy of mine with a Honda VTX, he had one on his bike and he said that I should give them a shot. I uh, went to their website, it was pretty easy to navigate and there are just a few options. Uh, the clocks come both handlebar mount and uh, stem nut mount. For us sport bikers, um, you're probably going to go with the stem mount, which is what I did. Uh, you have to go through a few options. You have to decide whether you want a black face or a white clock face. Um, do you want your clock to have the illumination feature, which is really great for riding at night or very early in the morning, and on the mount itself, whether you wanted polished aluminum or chrome. You also need to know your stem nut size as well, but don't worry if you don't know it, because there's a template on their website. You simply print it out, cut out the sizes, and fit it over your stem nut and see which size fits. So mine was a 30 millimeter, which is very common to Hondas. And... Within a few days, my order came, and I had received my clock. And I want to show you, here's the clock that I received, and this is something else I received, and I thought it was pretty awesome. It's a thank you letter from the owners of the company. It's a, a letter thanking me for my purchase. Uh, usually when you order something, you know, you, you hear from customer service, or they'll send you an invoice, but here's an actual thank you letter saying, hey, thank you for your purchase, and you know, that tells me that they, they take pride in their product, and, uh, you know, I was very pleased to see that. So let's take a look at what I did get. Um, one thing that my buddy has on his VTX, he has a polished aluminum mount, which looks awesome on his stem nut, but my CBR F4, it doesn't have much chrome or polished aluminum, so I called Linda up over there, and I went over some options, and uh, she said they do anodizing as well. And you see I opened it up. It's packaged very carefully. And I went with a black anodized mount. And this matches the triple of my, of my bike nicely. And I also went for a white face clock with the, elect, the illumination feature. And you see it looks very electroluminescent. It's inside so you're not going to get the full, um, you know, the full taste of what it is. But you can see it lights up nicely. The... Um, and the illumination is very evenly distributed. doesn't look like there are any bright spots or dark spots and so on and so forth. And the way it mounts is there is a set screw on the bottom here. And as you tighten it up, it's going to press against the stem nut and lock it in. And here's another surprise I did not expect to see. Inside the package, they even include for you, see if I can find it. Here it is. The correct size Allen wrench. I mean, that surprised me. I thought that was really cool of them to do that. So what happens is as you tighten this down, it's going to press into the stem nut and lock it on. And uh, that's what we're going to do right now. The first thing you need to do is make sure that you've backed off this set screw enough so that it allow it to slide on easily. And as you can see, mine does. Uh, I opted not to take off this plastic plug. I was going to, but you know what? You really don't have to. And then all you have to do now is tighten down this set plug. Uh, I'm not going to gorilla tighten it, I'm not going to kill it, but I am going to make sure it's snug. There you go. They have some ridiculous guarantee on it that um, if anything ever happens, I think it's three years or something, and if, if you lose it, they'll replace it. I mean, it's it's really great. It looks, I think it looks awesome on there. And 
best of all, I can I, I know what time it is whenever I need to, you know? Um, something else that I kind of, I did not expect, the black blends right into the triple nicely. The chrome on here looks nice with my fork tops. Uh, you know, the top of my, uh, my forks here, the adjustment, it actually looks, it looks nice. It looks finished. I was going to go with black to match my gauges, but you know what? The electroluminescence to me is, is important enough, and I think it looks awesome. Uh, overall, so far, I'm, I mean, installation was an absolute breeze, especially with the tool that they give you, and uh, so far, I really like it. I'll get some riding impressions over the next few days. Okay, just to give you an idea of what the backlighting looks on this, I put the bike in the garage. It is still during the daytime, but you'll see it'll still light up nicely. Okay, there you go. Plenty visible. It's and it looks like to be like wearing a glove is not even going to be an issue because the the button, the illumination button, is so large. Overall, I'm very impressed with the uh, the quality of the and the engineering of this clock on a motorcycle and the, the ease of installation is absolutely ridiculous i mean if you can if you can put license plates on a car you're probably overqualified for doing this so it's it's really not an issue i, I really like it and uh, i'm glad to now know what time it is while i'm riding the bike again without looking something goofy so definitely check it out if you're in the market all right thanks everybody see ya remember kids no squidding.